Hello everyone, this is Matthias coming at you with a one versus one game. We have here the light blue Zerg Dubin facing the dark blue Protoss Ibanez, which I'm going to start calling them the Protoss because otherwise I'm going to just keep butchering that name. And Dubin, I'll probably just start calling the Zerg just to make things easy for me. Um, this will be my first official cast of StarCraft 2, so bear with me as I go through this. Uh, please go ahead and give me any feedback you like in the comments section as these players get started. I'm going to get this stuff out of the way um, so that I can learn and get better and make people want to see more of my casts. So we are going to see a pylon over here right by the ramp as well as Dubin going ahead and getting more of his drones. Fairly, fairly standard right now, getting his Overlord first, probably his Extractor um, or a Spawning Pool not too far behind as the Protoss are doing the same type of thing. Now this is a replay that did come to me through my email address at proreplaysatme.com. That's proreplaysatme.com. Go ahead and send me any replays you would like me to cast. I don't care what level they are at. If I cast a game and I like it, I think it's interesting, I will go ahead and put it up. So feel free to send those to me at any point whatsoever. We do have this gateway going up, a couple, some scouting going on, this drone going to reach the Protoss base just as this probe reaches the Zerg base. I'm curious to see as this extractor goes down if we're going to see any cheese or if there's going to be just nothing as this probe is chasing the drone out of the Protoss base. And this probe is just going to kind of chill all the way in the corner over here. There is an early expansion going down for the Zerg. That's very, very standard. And a cybernetic score going down as well. So we're probably going to see some early stalkers come out. As that is fairly standard for the Protoss. We've got a single Zell coming out. A second gateway on the way as well. Back down at the Zerg player, Dubin. He is doing more of a macro game at the moment. Building his first expansion up before going for military units or really defenses. He does not even have his queen on the way yet, although a spawning pool is on the way, so he will be getting that stuff soon. The Protoss have decided to go ahead and grab this Zelnaga tower to make things quick and easy for them, and already sending the first Zealot. I don't know if this is going to be an attacker, a scout, but we will see as he's chrono boosting out warp gates and getting his third gateway. So his warp gates are going to come in soon. Probably going to get an early push as gateway number four is on the way. Fairly standard for an early game push. And that first zealot is going to come down at this expansion and just start going at it. There are no military units right now for the Zerg. Um, although there are some Zerglings and a Queen on the way. So as this zealot continues coming now to harass the workers, a second zealot coming in to take out the expansion. This could be an interesting beginning to the game. As the queen is out, a pair of zerglings come out as well. And another pair of zerglings, so they'll probably be able to repel this pretty easily. But you never know, because there could very easily be more... Protoss units on the way, although there are no Protoss units being built as that Cybernex is just finishing up that warp gate, and those Zealots will retreat up to probably at least, oh, nope, they're going to just chill on that ramp, so Dubin is going to send a couple of Zerglings after them, probably to scout this out and try to take this tower, and finding this probe here, he's not going to get the intelligence he wanted. As he does send another Zergling, I'm sure, to this tower here to make sure that he has some form of line of sight, as we now do have a queen on each of these bases. I'll bring up the production tab here, and you can see there's only two pylons being warped in, although one of them down here at this ramp, that is going to allow us for some very, very quick reinforcements, as all four of these warp gates are done. Uh, 
second pylon going down here just to make sure. So I'm sure, yep, there they come. We are going to see some very quick warp ins at these pylons who are just going to destroy those zerglings as they keep up the attack. And a zergling kind of chilling here at the primary of the Protoss. And the Zerg continuing to build queens and zerglings and drones. And the Protoss, well, not doing much right now as those warp gates are going through cooldown. We have, we do have a fairly sizable force here. Four stalkers and four zealots coming in to attack the Zerg. So we are going to see a pretty sizable battle here. I don't know if this Zerg are going to be able to hold this off. That's a lot of zealots that are surviving. They do take out one queen, the Protoss are going to do some kiting as more zealots do show up. They do take out a couple of more zerglings. So there are more and more going things going down. We do have an overseer here on the way. And these Protoss units just going at it with this early attack. These three queens are now defending. Another queen still on the way. And another hatchery as well. We have a hatchery here just at the top of the Zerg player's ramp to get some additional production. I'm sure as these queens are doing their best to hold this off, which is somewhat successful, but this Protoss force is only growing as the Zerg player is losing more units in the encounter than the Protoss. This battle going on here, just these three queens for the Zerg, down to two. Now a bunch of Zergs do spawn to go after those stalkers. They're going to have to retreat in a minute, I imagine. As this queen's going to go down, but more Zergs do show up to reinforce. So we are going to see that queen go down, and this Zealot will also go down. As the rest of the Protoss force does retreat. This hatchery has now completed, and another one on the way already, so we are going to get a fourth and a fifth hatchery here at the base of this main, so we are going to see a lot, yeah, ten Zerglings on the way right now. So, a very, very defensive build right now for Juven as he has to contend with this very early push by the Protoss, a lot of Stalkers coming in, these Warp Gates are... Pushing units out very, very quickly, and they are holding this ramp, which is really they're making it difficult for the Zerg to even get begin with these early attacks. And so, a very, very, very quick rush here as there are more units warping in for the Protoss as another pair of queens come in to go after these stalkers. And that lone zealot, will they take any of them out? There's one stalker that's very low. They'll take out the uh, zealot. Will they take out the stalker as well? It doesn't look like that. They are focused on helping them at the moment. Once the queen goes down, an evolution chamber on the way. As well as, we now have three hatcheries on the way. Two of them about to burst open here. And in creating units. We do have three queens being built as well as many, many Zerglings. And the Protoss really not doing anything. This is a mistake that a lot of players will make even when they're not trying to do a rush like this, but they will completely neglect their macro and just not build anything other than the units that are attacking. Look here at the units of the two teams. Just four Zealots and 14 probes for the Protoss, whereas the the Zerg have more harvesters than them, as well as, at this point, more military units. And enough, that sixth hatchery now coming down. The layer is also done. So we are going to see the Protoss attempt to go for some of these harvesters, these drones down here, but still really not doing too much. I think because of this macro, at this point, you would think that they would do something, expand this strategy clearly is not being as effective as hoped. So now would be the time to retreat, expand. There are six hatcheries here for the Zerg. That's a lot of minerals to go down and a lot of queens here. We are seeing kind of a mass queen as eight more queens are on the way. We are going to see a mass queen attack probably as these 
Protoss units are just getting decimated as they come in to get a kill or two, but definitely not enough to warrant the continuing the strategy, just continuing to build these units and nothing else. No expansions, no tech buildings, nothing. As they do successfully get rid of this hatchery, the broodlings getting very, very quickly eaten. And a creep tumor, tumor going down there to expand that creep a little bit more so that these things be, uh, are able to at least move somewhat. So a very good...